At this point, we have reached critical mass when it comes to the Tate brothers. Andrew and Tristan are two of the most searched for personalities in the entire world right now. And even when you're not actively seeking out their content, it's bound to show up on your social media feeds anyways. These two started off in the world of kickboxing where Andrew would go on to become a four-time champion before they retired from the sport to find their fortunes elsewhere. Now for a short period of time, it seemed like their destiny did lie in reality TV. I mean, after all, if any pair of brothers were built for that genre, it was these two. But controversy would see them both kicked off their respected series for making such an impression. With their television bridges being burned, the brothers started a webcam business out of their one bedroom apartment in the UK. Before long, they were raking in the kind of cash that they had so long dreamed for thanks to a roster of Andrew's former flames. After about a year and a half of establishing themselves, the Tate brothers decided to leave their longtime home of England and move to the Eastern European country of Romania. How come? Well, that answer changes depending upon who you ask. Tristan has been quoted as saying they moved there to take advantage of the country's high-powered internet speeds. But Andrew's been a little blunter about their decision-making process. Whatever the true reason, there's no denying that the Kong concrete compound these two secured for themselves is the kind of stuff that alpha male dreams are made out of. Not long after moving into their new home, the brothers then spent a considerable amount to acquire a secondary compound, one that I can only best describe as an office space mixed with an EDM rave. So if you've ever wondered what the home life is like for the Tate brothers, well, stay tuned because you're about to find out right here. Welcome to Daily Lifestyle Celebrities. Andrew and Tristan Tate's house is located in Bucharest, the capital city of Romania. Their open concept living room boasts a long stretch of multicolored sofas set up directly in the middle of the space. And even though they may not look all that supportive, don't worry, as Andrew himself would find out, they have some genuine power. While the house was largely empty upon the brothers moving in a few years ago, the one item that they made sure to set up immediately was a chessboard that serves to remind them of their father, the late grand chess master, Emery Tate. Also located in this same space is a long stretch of windows that allows for ample lighting to penetrate the room. And smack dab in the middle of all that is a fireplace that warms everybody up during those cold Romanian winters. Rounding out this initial area is a dining room table that Andrew suggests doesn't get all that much use since he almost never eats at home. Speaking of which, let's check out the kitchen next. While cooking might not be the Tate brothers thing, they've still got a fully equipped kitchen, including an espresso machine, as well as a fridge that's been filled with largely just three things, meat, beer. Here we have another banquet table, as well as a built-in barbecue. But something tells me that the chef Andrew hired the grill doesn't come with the place, unfortunately. The nearby gardens and its accompanying water feature probably get more use than almost any other space in the house, at least during the summertime. And while that patch of green grass in the middle of all that concrete may be a bit small, at least it provides a pop of color. Now you're probably thinking that outdoor space is missing something, namely a pool. Well, come on, do you guys really think that the Tate brothers wouldn't have a swimming pool? I mean, of course they do. They just decided to keep it on the inside so they can maximize its use. And when they're done swimming, they can transition right into lifting weights with their home gym set up at the edge of the pool. Next, let's head upstairs to the second floor, which is accessible through a flight of stairs located in the living room. While doing so, you can check out the pottery remains that the brothers unearthed while their home was being built and then decided to put on display. Upon reaching the next level, you're greeted by a host of guest rooms, all of which have both walk-through wardrobes and an ensuite bathroom. Also located up there is the home cinema that's loaded up with a projector, a screen, and a ton of blackout curtains. The final room to check out on this floor is Andrew's primary suite, or the G's room as he likes to call it. Not only does it boast a large chandelier hanging from the ceiling, but it's got its own balcony from which Andrew can oversee his compound. And to top it all off, a snakeskin wall. Just around that corner, on the other side of that wall, is a walk-in closet that Andrew was at one point convinced that he'd never fill up. But if you ask me, he seems to have done all right for himself. And of course, he's also got his ensuite that includes a shower alongside a bathtub that's only there for two things, decoration and ladies. The last area to check out is the top floor of the compound, which Andrew graciously gave up to his younger brother, Tristan. It's an open concept space with a bed, television, sitting area, and still has enough room left over for a desk. Not that Andrew believes Tristan is putting in any work. Finally, the nicest feature on this third floor is the incredible balcony from which the Tate brothers can check out the views of the entire city of Bucharest. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Tate brothers' home. Next, I wanna give you guys a look at Andrew and Tristan's business headquarters, Cobra Tate Estate, which is located at the very end of a cul-de-sac and is believed the space costs somewhere in the ballpark of around $28 million. Unlike with their home, black is the dominating theme here. As you approach the front doors, you'll notice that they've been wrapped in red lights and it gives the impressions of visiting a nightclub, which I'm almost sure is exactly what they were going for. Upon entering the building, you're immediately greeted by a mirror hanging on the wall and a couple epic light displays just a few steps further in. Not far from there, 
is the open concept main space with a bunch of leather seating arrangements and a gigantic widescreen TV hanging on the wall. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the room is a dining area and a kitchen, which, much like with their original home, I'm guess doesn't get used all that often. Rounding things out is an entire wall dedicated to computers, and considering all the tech spaces that these two dabble in, walking through a fingerprint access door will lead you to the next area, the primary office space in which the brothers can keep an eye on the entire compound with security cameras while also enjoying a few of their favorite adult beverages and a few stogies from time to time. I mean, you can't have wood paneling on the walls like that and not smoke a few cigars once in a while. But last not least, there is the bedroom suite, which is accessible through a hidden door underneath Andrew's four former championship belts. This area not only boasts an all black marble bathroom with dual sinks, but it also includes a dressing room area that Andrew has populated with as many firearms as he has clothing and accessories. And of course, just around the corner from there is a bedroom area, which noticeably includes a Japanese samurai sword just sitting there on the dresser. I guess, you know, just in case something like this happened. Look, when you're working out of a building that is comparable to the lair of a James Bond villain, misunderstandings are bound to happen. And if you'd like to hear more about the story of the Romanian police raiding the Tate Brothers compound, then be sure to